Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use resolution refutation process to prove a conclusion given a set of knowledge bases in artificial intelligence. I have solved the same problem using inference rules in the previous video. Link for that video is given in the description below. Now, in this case, we have been given five knowledge bases. Given these knowledge bases, we need to use the resolution refutation procedure and we need to derive the sentence A here. Again, uh, what we need to do in a resolution refutation procedure is uh, the given knowledge bases have to be converted into something known as the clause form where we should not have any implications as well as the and statements here. We need to remove the implications as well as the and statements in this case. So, first we will start with the first knowledge base. We have an implication here. So, that can be written something like this one. This is the implication here. So, if you have something like this one, A implies B, it can be written like uh, negation of A or B here. So, similarly, in this case, we can write uh, this statement as negation of this whole part or E here. So, that is what I have written in this case. Next, I will apply the de Morgan's law and I will bring this negation inside. It will become negation of A or B. This and will be replaced with what? Or here and C will become negation of C or E over here. Next, what I will do is I will take uh, again this uh, negation inside. It will become negation of A. This or will become and, this negation B will become negation of B or these two things I have put into one, uh, we can say that the bracket here. Now, if you consider this one as X here, what we can do is we can distribute this X to negation of A one time and second time we can distribute it to B here. So, if you distribute it to negation of A one time, it will look something like this one, negation of A or negation of C or negation of E, that is the first one here. If you distribute it to negation of B, it will look like negation of B or negation of C or negation of E, that is the second one here. So, we have converted this knowledge base 1 into a clause form, uh, knowledge base 1.1 and knowledge base 1.2 over here. Now, consider the second knowledge base. Second knowledge base again contains one implication. We need to remove this implication. If I remove this implication, it will become negation of uh, D and F or A here. And then uh, if I take that negation inside, it will become negation of D or negation of F or negation of A in this case. Now, uh, we will go with the knowledge base uh, 3 here. There is no need to do anything. It will be kept as it is because we don't have any implication or and statement here. If you go with the knowledge base 4, we have and here. So, we will remove this and. It will become B one time and C second time here. And knowledge base 5 will be kept as it is here. After converting the knowledge bases into clause form, they will look something like this. And these will become the knowledge bases for further resolution procedure here. So, I have written the new knowledge bases over here. Next, uh, in the resolution refutation procedure, what we do is we will take the negation of uh, what we need to prove. In this case, I want to prove A here. So, I will take the negation of uh, that A here. And what I wanted to do is I want to get the empty set. That is what my uh, intention over here. If I am able to get uh, the empty set, the meaning of this one is uh, whatever we have assumed that is wrong. Actually, the A is the true in this case. So, I have considered the negation of uh, the conclusion that is negation of A here. And if you want to get uh, the empty set, somehow we have to remove this uh, negation of A. And if you want to remove the negation of A, we can consider this knowledge base too. Why? Because we have uh, A here and this negation of A will get cancelled. We will left with the remaining things. So, that's the reason I have considered the knowledge base uh, uh, 2 here. This A and this uh, negation of A will get cancelled. What will be left over here? Negation of uh, D or negation of F over here. Now, negation of D or negation of F is there. Again, we want to remove these three things. So, what we can do here is we can take a knowledge base 3 here. If I take knowledge base 3, we will get negation of E or D here. This D and this negation of D will get cancelled. What will be left over here? Negation of F from here, negation of E from here. Now, uh, we got this one. Again, we want to uh, cancel these two things. So, what we can do? We can take this uh, knowledge base 5 here. We have uh, F in this case. This F and this F will get cancelled. What will be left? Only negation of E is left here. Now, if you want to remove this E, there are multiple possibilities are there. Uh, here, I will take the knowledge base 1.2, that is negation of B or negation of C or E here. This E and this negation of B will get cancelled. We will be left with the negation of B or negation of C in this case. Now, I will consider this knowledge base 4.1. We have B here. This B and this negation of B will get cancelled. 
we will be left with what only negation of c here if i take knowledge base 4.2 we have c here this c and this negation of c will get cancelled what is present at the end of the day we have the empty clause here what is the meaning of empty clause the meaning of empty clause is what we have assumed is wrong the what we have assumed here negation of a is true that is wrong the meaning of this one is a is true here and we were able to prove this particular thing in this case so this is how what we can do is we can use a resolution refutation procedure on the given knowledge basis to prove the given conclusion in this case so first we need to convert the knowledge basis into clause form and then we need to use the resolution so that we will be able to get the final answer i hope the concept of resolution refutation procedure is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching